Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, so this question is a little bit different. It was on the 2012 sample paper, um, and I haven't really seen anything like it come up since. So I just want to to go through it with you in case something like this does come up. So it says five lines, J, K, L, M and N in the coordinate plane are shown in the diagram. The slopes of the five lines are given in the table below. Complete the table matching the lines to the slopes. Now I could really see how a question like this could um, could flummox someone in that there's no values on the X or Y axis. There's no points, so I have no way of using uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. I can't use that because they haven't given me uh, points. There's another formula, y is equal to mx plus c, and you can get slope from that. Um, I can't use that because they haven't given me the equations of those lines. All they have given me is figures for slopes and some random lines drawn on a grid. OK, so what this question is examining then is your understanding of the word slope. So slope is slant. OK, so you always read slope from left to right. OK. So, for example, what do I mean by that? Well, look at this line in. I know that's a negative slope because it's going down a hill. So that slope is negative. I know K is a positive slope because it's going up. OK, um, let me compare two lines. Look at M, which is going up, and look at K that's going up. OK, so both of those have positive slopes. Which one is more steeper? So K is much steeper. OK, imagine climbing up a mountain that steepness versus this one here. So you can see K is much more steep. So K has a bigger slope value than M. Okay, in the same with J and N, N has a much bigger negative slope than J because it's much steeper. And then L is a straight line. It has no slope, no slant. So that has a slope of zero. So although we don't know the equations of the lines, although we don't know any points on them, we can compare their slopes relative to each other. OK, so when I look down here now, I see a slope of zero. Well, there's only one of those lines that's flat with a slope of zero, and that's L. So that's L that was in there. OK, so he's done. Um, then let's have a look at the two positive slopes. I have a slope of two and a slope of an eighth, and then the bottom two down here are negative slopes. So let's do the two positive ones. So they're going up a hill, going from left to right. So that's K and that's M. So whichever is the bigger value of these must go with K because that's a much steeper line. So this slope of an eighth then must be M. OK, so M is done, K is done. So I'm left with J and N. And again, which one of them is steeper? Going down, it's N. So the biggest negative number must be N, which is minus 1. OK, so J then must be minus a quarter. And that's that full question done. That could be worth as much as 15 marks. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our level seven in electronic and computer engineering? This is a three year program that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress on to the level eight in electronics and self-driving technologies and from there to the masters. Check out the link below for more information.